Potty training a rabbit is easy. It's keeping them potty trained. That's the hard part. Hello, Buns, and welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. And today I'm going to answer a question that I get all the time, and it is, what do I do when my rabbit stops using their litter box? Now, if you're watching this video and you just had the thought, wait, rabbits can use a litter box? Pause this video right now and go check out our potty training video because yes, rabbits are more than capable of being potty trained. So make sure you know how to potty train your rabbit before jumping into this video. So go do that. All right, so I'm assuming everybody here has potty trained their rabbit and is now having the problem of their rabbit using the restroom outside of their litter box. Now, believe it or not, there are actually a lot of things that can cause this to happen. And it's one of the biggest blockers for people not wanting to free roam their rabbit. So it's really important that you understand why this could happen and how to fix it so that your rabbit can live their best life and you can live your best life because your rabbit is not pooping and peeing all over your stuff. The very first reason why your rabbit is not using their litter box anymore is because it was never truly enforced to them that this is what they are expected to do. Rabbits are very routine oriented, so you can potty train a rabbit pretty quickly, but if there is never any punishment or anything that happens to them, if they use the restroom outside of the litter box, they're gonna have more accidents. So it's really, really important that you are very diligent about any time your rabbit has an accident, letting them know that that's not okay. Now rabbits are very sensitive, so you should never like hit or strike your rabbit or scream at your rabbit, but you definitely can pick your rabbit up, put their nose in the pee like you would with a dog, say no, and then put your rabbit into their litter box. Basically saying, do not do this, do that here. Reinforcing to your rabbit that their bad behavior is in fact bad behavior is going to make them not want to do that in the first place. Okay, so you've reinforced it. They know the rules about potty training, but it's still happening. What now? Well, the number one reason why your rabbit is not using their litter box is actually a hormonal reason. Before a rabbit gets spayed or neutered, they kind of go through bunny puberty and their hormones start to go crazy. And when their hormones are going crazy, they like to mark their territory. Usually around four to six months is when you're gonna see your rabbit regress a little bit in their potty training. They're gonna get spunkier. They're gonna be peeing on things. They're gonna be pooping outside of their litter box because they are having hormonal flashes, just like a teenager would. The best thing to do during this is to continue to reinforce good potty behavior and get your rabbit spayed and neutered. Not only is getting your rabbit spayed and neutered good for their health, but it's also going to remove these hormonal tendencies. Now, even the best potty trained rabbit is going to have a couple of accidents on a sofa or on a bed. Something about that soft material and the way it holds their scent, they just really want to mark that. So even if your rabbit has been fixed, even if they know their rules, you are most likely in your life going to deal with a potty stain on your sofa. This is something where you have to be diligent, where if you ever see your rabbit pee on the sofa, you need to clean that spot with an odor remover. I'm going to link down in the description box my favorite odor removers that I have found really worked with Cinnabon because if they smell their pee, anywhere on that material, they're going to just keep marking it. This is definitely much more common in younger rabbits, even after they've been fixed, but after they get a little bit older and out of that mischievous phase, and they've really learned that that is not allowed, that usually goes away. Cinnabon sits on her sofa all the time now. We do not have this problem, but I will tell you in the first year or two of her life, was it great? <laughs> now, another reason your rabbit might not be using their litter box anymore is because their routine has changed. If you recently moved, if you move around a bunch of furniture, if you move their litter box, if you change anything drastically in their space, because rabbits are so routine oriented, it can throw off their entire equilibrium, especially if you move their litter box. But sometimes it doesn't even need to be their litter box that they moved. About a month ago, I started moving Cinnabon's feeding mat literally six feet over just because I didn't like how it was in the middle of the floor. And then for a week straight, Cinnabon peed on the floor every single day. Basically being like, what the heck did you do? It was like, it completely threw her off. 
but I threw off her routine and that was that. But after a week when she settled in, everything was fine. Another reason your rabbit could be peeing or pooping outside their litter box is out of retaliation. When I go on vacation for too long of a period, when I come back, Cinnabon has words. And by words, I mean she leaves little piles of poop around every once in a while. It's a form of retaliation for them. Now the last reason your rabbit might be having accidents could actually be a health problem. Rabbits can get bladder infections and I don't wanna freak you out at all just just because your rabbit is having accidents does not mean that your rabbit is sick, but it's worth at least knowing the signs of. However, typically bladder infections and illness also come with other symptoms as well. You'll notice that their pee changes color. A lot of times there's blood in the stool and you'll notice that it's like in smaller amounts throughout the home instead of like a big pile of pee, like it typically would be. Also your rabbit will most likely be showing other symptoms of being sick, like being hunched over, not eating as much and not acting like themselves. So while it is possible that the reason your rabbit is having accidents is because of a bladder infection or because they're sick, do not jump to that conclusion right away. Most likely it's one of the other things I mentioned, but it's important to note that if everything in your rabbit's life has been completely consistent and you are noticing accidents throughout the home and maybe a change in the color of their urine, it is always worth it to give your vet a call. I hope that this video was helpful and please let me know down in the comments if you have any potty training tips that you would like to share with our community and I will see you in our next video. Bye bud!